sem að bjóða á svið Darren Farley Þetta er snillingur Og þá tekum að gleri og enn ofan Mr. Farley, thank you Thank you Ská 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 The only way to know in um, Icelandic but we came here yesterday, we came here yesterday um, afternoon and uh, we've had a great time to be honest with you. Uh, it's been great, we've had great food, probably tell I like my food. Uh, we've had great drink, pissed, getting in at half four in the morning, it's been a, it's been a great weekend but uh, if someone was to say to me what do you think of the Icelandic people, I don't know if you know these words but I think these are all fucking nuts. <laughs> I think you're all crazy, but you're great as well. We had a great weekend of being with the lads, with Robbie, Lee, and my very good friend Ian as well. We had a brilliant weekend. Now, you might know me. Um, I'm a football impressionist. You might know as an imitator over here. So I do impression, impressions of football players, football managers. And I just want to say thank you for, you know, for inviting me over. So I brought a few, some of the massive characters from the world of football who are going to get there and take a what's going on in the world of football. Okay, so here we go. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, thank you. Welcome to Reykjavik, special of match of the day. Uh, we've got some, some massive names from the world of football who just want to give their views on what's going on in the world. We're going to start by speaking to a former Liverpool manager the new England manager, or the current England manager, Mr. Roy Hodgson, is with us now. Former Liverpool manager, incredible. Spent, that's terrible. Uh, spent six glorious months <laughs> as Liverpool manager. He joins us now, and, and Roy, England manager. Now, let's talk about this. Uh, the World Cup, obviously Iceland can't look both to the World Cup because they haven't got a fucking team. Uh, but Roy, what, do you think England can, can, can win the World Cup? Sorry, Roy, you're going to have to speak into the microphone. We didn't quite understand that. Can, can England win the World Cup, Roy? The World Cup's going to be a very, very tough place for everybody to play. And we know it's going to be very tough to some lot of countries. So, you know, there's a lot of countries play players. But I think we shall do very well. We've been playing very well. You know, I think we've got some wonderful players. We've got some wonderful players. Wayne Rooney, you know, he's a wonderful player. Steve Gerrard's a wonderful player. But I, th I think people are expecting us to do very, very well. In fact, I went to bookmakers today, and, and a bookmakers, we went to bookmakers, and uh, I seen that we are 33 to one to win the World Cup. Now, for anyone that doesn't understand betting, that means if you put 20 pounds on England to win the World Cup, you're gonna fucking lose 20 pounds. <laughs> so, it's going to be wonderful, you know, it's, 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 it's wonderful, and, you know, we've got some wonderful players, we shall look forward to the World Cup, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Roy, while you're here, do you, uh, do you have any experience of, have you ever been over to Iceland? Well, yes, you know, I've been, this is, it's been wonderful, we had last night, we were drinking lots of opal. <laughs> That's why my chin's hanging down here, because I fucking can't see, can't see straight, but, um, Wekjavik, what a place, Wekjavik, a, a wonderful city, it's fantastic, we had a great time, fucking freezing, but, you know, we've had a wonderful, wonderful time, so I've enjoyed myself very much, thank ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Roy Hodgson, the England manager, thank you, Roy. That's, that's the best reception Roy Hodgson's ever received from any Liverpool supporters in the world. Uh, we're going to move on and we're going to speak to the Liverpool captain, the England captain, Mr. Steven Gerrard joins us now. Steven Gerrard, what a man. Steven, Liverpool, getting back to the best. Can Liverpool win the title? Is this the season that you lift the Premier League title? You've been looking for the, a trophy, this trophy you've wanted all your career. Can, can Liverpool get that, Steven? Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, <laughs> it's uh, very hard, but uh, the lads have all been working really hard. Uh, you get out there and give 100%. Uh, the lads are all giving 100%. Uh, I give 50% because I'm Steven Gerrard. I do what I want. Uh, that's what I'm all about. Uh, we are working hard. I think um, teams are finding it really hard to win at Anfield. Even we can't win there, but... Yeah, of 
course. It's down towards the push on. And Stephen, you've had a, a couple of injury problems uh, of lately. What's, what, you seem to have got back to your best with the injury problems you've had. What was the worst injury problem that you had at Liverpool? Yeah, of course. Uh, I did suffer. I had a couple of really bad uh, problems. Uh, suffered with my groin. Uh, suffered with my ankle. Yeah. Suffered with plenty more, but I think the worst one was the shoulder injury I had. I had a really bad shoulder injury, uh, which kept me out for a long time. But I suppose that's what happens when you carry a team for 15 fucking seasons. Yeah. But... On, on, the, on the bright side now, Stephen, you know, captain of Liverpool, you're going to lead England out in the World Cup. I mean, every day you must wake up the happiest man on the planet. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Every day I wake up, you can't take this fucking smile off me face. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Liverpool captain, England captain, Stephen Gerrard, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Stephen. Thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to speak to another England player, um, another massive hopeful England in the World Cup, but unfortunately, I'm not quite sure how he got past security. Uh, Mr. Wayne Rooney uh, is with us now, Mr. Wayne Rooney. And Wayne, it's been a difficult summer. I know things are really bad at the moment uh, under David Moyes. Fucking get in there. Um, but yourself, I mean, I've got to ask you, what, why did you decide to stay uh, at Manchester United, Wayne? Um... Um. 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 The um. Oh, what is it? Oh, um. Um. So I know the answer. I know the answer. Um. Um. Obviously. Um. Oh. Fish fingers? Oh no, it's not a. It's not a. Sorry, Wayne. We'll break it down for you. Yeah, Wayne, football. Why did you decide to stay at Old Trafford in football? Um, cause um, cause um, obviously um, I sat down with the um, the manager. I said I asked the, the gaffer for the transfer request. He said put it in writing. That was the fucking end of that. Um, it's, um, it's been difficult. Um, obviously, um, signed a, you know, a new contract. Um, the, you know, the manager said to me, um, oh, <coughs> um, sorry, um, the manager said, uh, the manager said, look, we, we can't sell you to any of our main rivals. Uh, so that ruled out whole city in Norwich. Um, but look, um, I'm trying my best um, to, um, to do my best for um, me. Um, me, me city, uh, oh, what is it? Some fish fingers, no. Um, but it's um, obviously, um, you know, it's it's um, it's all about, oh, what is it? The, um, the football. Um, but obviously, it's um, it's not um, going to um, too great now. Um, David Moyes has come in. It's really difficult um, since the new managers come in because none of us understand rugby uh, that much. So this is this has been totally different for us. But um, you know. Um, his fingers. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the man Wayne Rooney. What a guy. Incredible stuff. Boo. That's right. Uh, we're going to move on and we're going to speak to the current Liverpool manager, Mr. Brendan Rodgers, uh, joins us now. Mr. Brendan Rodgers. What a guy. What a guy. And Brendan, you've, you've brought hope back to the city of Reykjavik <laughs> and the city of Liverpool. Uh, you brought hope back. I mean, what? What, what, what have you had to do? Luis Suarez has been an unbelievable player. Would you say a Liverpool can be a one-man team with Luis Suarez? For me, he's a wonderful player, a delightful player, a wonderful player, a great technician. And I'm delighted with Luis. He's been wonderful here. And you talk about vision, vision and players. Players are working terrifically hard here for our club. And we're delighted with Luis. He's a wonderful player. Great te technical side of the game. Delighted. Like I say, Louis is a wonderful player. He's a great guy, a beautiful guy. But for me, I have to say about Louis, he's a wonderful player, but we're not a one-man team here. We're not a one-man team. Every player is an individual part of the group. And for me, that's so important. And I'm delighted with Louis. He's a great player. 
And to prove we're not a one-man team, we had a game in training of Louis on his own against our strongest 11 players. And our strongest 11 players won 4-3. Although Louis was sent off after five minutes. But look, 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 it was wonderful. I thought we were terrific. We were fantastic. The other week, Louis turned up an hour late for training. So we'll find the other players for turning up an hour early. But no, no, no. He's a great guy. I think at the moment, we're playing terrifically well. We've got great intensity, great vision, great concentration. Beautiful concentration. So I'm delighted. I'm delighted. I think it's our season. I think we can... Can we win the fucking league this season? We're going to do it. We're going to do it. And I'm, I'm delighted. I'm going to lose another two stone and bleach my teeth again. But well, it's wonderful. I'm delighted. I'm delighted. So it's all about the vision, all about the group. <laughs> so it's important. It's important. Thank you, uh, Liverpool manager Brendan Rogers, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, Brendan. Thank you very much. Uh, we're going to move on. Uh, we're going to speak to a, a former Liverpool, former Manchester United, former Newcastle, former Real Madrid, former Stoke City, bench warmer. Uh, Mr. Michael Owen joins us now. Now a pundit. Michael, not a popular figure in here, and that's not really a popular figure anywhere in the world, but <laughs> Michael, explain the reasons for calling it a day from the world of football. What made you decide to retire from the game? Yeah, I mean, uh, I think there was loads of, loads of moments in my career really where I thought, you know, I've done great. I mean, I've played for some great teams. I've played for Liverpool, I've played for Man United. And yeah, I mean, it was great really. And, Loved every moment of playing. I mean, it was a part of a great, great, great group and it was unbelievable, really. But it got to a point where, in the end, I just weren't really enjoying my football because I've got a preferred position. And at, at the end of my career, most of my managers used to love playing me at, in, just in behind the front two. The physio and the kit man on the bench. It wasn't, it wasn't great, really. I never quite really got there. But, yeah, I mean, I am quite a boring guy, I think everybody knows that, I mean I've not really got much to offer, I'm not really worth me standing here boring the shit out of every one of you, but I've had a great career, I think I've done well, I think I had a great career at Liverpool, scored lots of goals, moved on, Liverpool won a European Cup, shit, which was great really, but I mean, I'm, like I say now, I'm just boring the nation, so I'm just going to go home now, I'm going to get a flight home because I'm a boring bastard, uh, Michael Owen, the most boring man on the planet, ladies and gentlemen, thanks Michael, thank you very much. Uh, we've got, got to move on, and this is a, another former Liverpool manager. Ugh, this man won us our fifth European Cup in Istanbul. Mr. Rafa Benitez joins us now. Rafa Benitez, what incredible, incredible manager at Liverpool. Um, and he also brought back the legend that was Robbie Fowler as well, which is another great reason to like Rafa Benitez. Sorry, Robbie. Uh, and... <laughs> Rafa Benitez. Rafa, Liverpool manager for a long time at Liverpool. Some incredible moments uh, as Liverpool manager. Who, who would you say was, was the best player that you managed uh, at Liverpool? <sighs> yeah, I think... <laughs> yeah, I think... <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, I think, I think when you have to talk about this, I think it was, was really, really hard. It was really hard. Okay. A lot, of the, a lot of the players were fantastic. A lot of the players were fantastic. Like said Gerard, Ancarra, Fowler, eh, Paulo Senden. You know, people like this was really good. They were working hard. And I think for the people, when the players are always, they want to try hard to be the focus, the take task. And the most important thing is when you work hard for the club. And this was, this, was, this was fantastic and a lot of respect. I think you have to look at the players. They were fantastic. Fernando was very special. Fernando was very special, not just to the club, but he was very special to me because he was a player that he would do anything for me and for the team. So I said to Fernando, I said to Fernando, head the ball, he has the ball. I said to Fernando, shoot, he will shoot. I said to Fernando, bend over. <laughs> you know, it's okay, he looks like a girl anyway, so it was fine. And he was good. Another player we had, another player who was a lot of a like, a like of him was Javier Mascherano. Mascherano was very, very hard, very, very tough, and he was always working very, very hard. And he was very tough, and there were some moments in his career where a lot of the things happened. And there was one time we had played Everton in the Derby, uh, Goodison Park, and, uh, and Mascherano at half time, he came into the dressing room because he was a really hard player, you know, very, very tough. And at half time, he comes into the dressing room with a big gashed leg. We still don't know whose leg that was. 
he, he was he was so hard. You know, he was a tough guy. But I think at the moment you have to say Liverpool is working very very hard. Brendan is doing a good job uh, like this. <laughs> so I, th I think you have to give them credit. So like I say, I hope Liverpool can win the title. Uh, this season will be really good. So okay, thank you very much. Uh, Rafa Benitez, former Liverpool manager. Thank you, Rafa. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. Uh, we're going to move on, and we're going to speak to a man who's been around, former West Ham manager, former Spurs manager, now Queen's Park Rangers manager, Mr Harry Redknapp, uh, joins us now. And Harry, first question, it's got to be, you, Queen's Park Rangers manager, I mean, what enticed you, what kind of contract was you offered to, to go in to, to Queen's Park Rangers? Well, well, you know, well, 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 well. well. Well, you know, I think, well, it's Triffy, you know, it's a Triffy Club, you know. I think, well, you know, the first thing I said about what a Triffy Club, you know, it's a Triffy Club. Like I said, you know, when they, they came to me, they said, you know, hey, we've got a Triffy Club, you know, a Triffy Club. And QPR, everybody knows what QPR stands for. Quality players ruined, you know, and then that was it, you know, I thought to myself, I like it. The contract was Triffy, well, you know, the, the contract was Triffy, you know. The contract was 20 grand a week. After tax, four million pound a week. You know, I thought it was terrific. I thought it was a fantastic contract. So, well, well, you know, the club's top, top. You know, it's a top club. You know, it's a top, top club. We've got a terrific players. You know, Bobby Zamora is a. You know, he's a terrific player. You know, at the moment, you know, that's just the way it is. You know, I think we're a terrific club. We're a top, top club. We're top player. You know, and I think that's absolutely true. Harry Redknapp, um, the main man. Thank you very much, <laughs> Mr. Harry Redknapp. Thanks, Harry. Thank you very much. Well, we're going to move on to another Liverpool legend. Um, obviously, the word can be overused, but this man is a Liverpool legend. Mr. Jamie Carragher joins us now. Jamie Carragher. And Jamie, Jamie Carragher, if Liverpool were to go on and, and win the league this season, you've got to feel sorry for, for, for Jamie Carragher. And hopefully, they'll take Aspas's medal off him and give it to Jamie Carragher. <laughs> Because he fucking deserves it more, let's be honest. <laughs> Robbie, Robbie Fowler deserves it more than fucking ass pass. Um, but to uh, Jamie Carragher, uh, now Sky Sports pundit, former Liverpool defender. Jamie, can you give us an analysis of Liverpool's season uh, so far? Oh, the scene so far, I think got to, the season, I think the season, I think got the great squad of players, and I think we've got squad of players on the right back, left back, and we've got half, and I, you know, the midfields, and we've got four, and the centre, and left back, and we've got four, and <laughs> so I think we've got a season, and it's trying to go there, so I think we've got to push forward, and Brendan's come in, Brendan, we talk about here, and Brendan, you know, Brendan's come in, he's got his own, his own identity on the squad, and mm, that's so important. And I think we've got their own shards. And Liverpool now on seconds and we'll go to first. That could be the way it goes. And it'll be a great season. If Liverpool can go on to win the league, that would be great. It'll be great. And so I've seen them go, mmm. So I, I just go from there. I reckon they've got their shards. I reckon they're going to. <laughs> and that's what I've seen them. So, mmm. <laughs> ja Jamie Carragher. What a guy. What a guy. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. And um, finally, ladies and, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to speak to Mr. David Beckham, former Manchester United, former England player. Uh, it's been announced that Mr. David Beckham has bought the franchise uh, of American soccer. And David, first question would be, what, what, made, you, what made you want to go to America? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it, was, uh, it was quite a tough decision. Uh, <laughs> uh, it was quite a tough decision to go to America because it's always difficult when you go to a new planet, you know, and that was, that was quite tough. It was quite tough and I've made a lot of tough decisions. You know, it was like the time I, I went to, to, to Paris, that was quite tough. I went to Paris and, you know, I can't speak a word of German, you know, I'm not quite, I'm not quite sure, uh, but it was, uh, <laughs> it was great. Uh, I think this is, this is great for me because it gives me a lot, a lot more time with, with obviously the most special person in my life, Gary Neville. Uh, so, uh, that's going to be good. <laughs> uh, no, it's, it's great. I'm looking forward to going. It's going to be great. David Beckham, thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very, very much. That's been Sky Sports News. Thank you very much. Thank you.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, just have your attention for one minute. I just want to say, I just want to say, um, I just want to say what, what a fantastic, what's fantastic hosp hospitality, hospitality. Um, you've been looking after us, getting us drinks, getting us food. We had a great time here, yeah, really enjoyed it. Um, and I look forward to coming back in the future. So thank you very much once again for me, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you. Cheers, guys.